So in this video, we will be seeing how we can implement Newton's Raphson method in C programming language. So here we have declared a stdio.h and math.h. These are header files. We have declared an additional uh, header file math.h because we're going to do some mathematical calculation. So we are importing them from a library which are present in C language. So returning to the main function. So here we declared uh, two variables in integer type. First one is iteration and uh, another one is uh, maximum iteration. So iteration will be uh, keeping record of uh, present going on iterations. Maximum rate iteration is its a limit up to which it can repeat itself. Mm -hmm. So here a floating type integer. So we have declared a h variable so that we can assign uh, uh, we will uh, see what we can what we have to assign to it x naught is a, a real root which we assume that it will be near or neighboring hood of that uh, x naught and uh, x1 will be the next uh, approximation uh, x value so here this is the allowed error so there will be a statement which will be on uh, user screen uh, which is asking for x naught allowed error and maximum iteration so we're gonna fetch that data from user and here we are using for loop for loop iteration is equal to one so in first iteration means first approximation iteration has to be less than maximum iteration or equal to maximum iteration in coming or in uh, like uh, iterations so after that it will enter this uh, for loop where h will be assigned to f of x naught and df of x naught so f of x naught is a user defined function here we can see that float f of float x so we are going we're going to pass x naught value which we have fetched from user to this function in through the x value so here we have written the function which we want to calculate function as mean uh, the problem statement not the user defined function so here x naught is there there are x wherever the x is there x naught will be passed to it same here df df is a differentiated function means uh, this is the given problem statement and this is the differentiated of the given problem here x naught will be passed and it will uh, compute the division of them and it will be assigned to h in c uh, the uh, left hand side and right hand side there will be confusion so that's why we are writing this will assign to h value so now x1 x1 means uh, the root of the first approximation or the coming approximation which is uh, equal to x0 minus h. We know what's minus h here in above statement. Then printf at iteration percentage d x equal to percentage f which will be showing which iteration we are in and what is the x value we are going to calculate or like already calculated. So here here there is uh, another one imported library function which is fabs. Fabs is basically used a uh, standard uh, library function which will uh, calculate or uh, gives absolute result of floating point integers. So here the condition is if fabs of h means the floating point integer of h here is less than allowed error then only it will uh, what to say mm, print f the statement that this and that or else it will come out of the loop it will assign x1 to the x0 then again the iteration will be 2 because uh, here we are using post increment which means first it will be 1 and we will use the 1 value and then again ag after the executing one time it will increment it to 2 so this is this will go on further on for uh, what to say if the value repeats means the real root value repeats up to that decimal point then it will terminate itself and it will show this statement the required solution does not converge or inter or iteration are insufficient so here we are putting return zero because uh, here we have declared int main which means we have to return something so in this case we are not returning anything so that's why you are using zero so let's check this whether it's gonna like what to say work for this code so we have put the problem statement and the differentiated form of that problem statement we're going to compile so yes compilation finished successfully and also building also successfully so let's execute it 
So in saying a command prompt on the screen, whether there is a statement enter x not allowed error and maximum iteration. So let's take two as an x not, then allowed error up to 0.00. I mean up to I think uh, three to four decimal places. Then a maximum iteration of eight. So here we can see that on the screen uh, iteration one it got up to fourth iteration because as we can notice that in third iteration the value of third iteration and the value of fourth iteration both are same. So as I said if the it uh, value while uh, iterating it repeats for two times then it will terminate itself from the loop as we can see that third and fourth where it got repeated so it means twice it got repetition. So that's why it terminated its loop and it displayed the output of after four iterations. The root is this much. Thank you for watching the video.